everybody. It's Shanice and Leah. You're tuned into the Good, Good Judy, Judy Podcast. Podcast. We want to give a shout out to VAR. Um, you're back for another episode. It's our first season, Church Girl Chronicles, and we're sitting with the amazing. The one and only. The man of God. The incomparable. <laughs> Thomas Cody. What's hey, y'all. Up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> Let's Thank give you. It What's up, y'all? For trusting us. For oh being and gracing us. Amen. Thank friends. you for allowing me to come. <laughs> hmm? I was glad when they said unto me. Uh-huh. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Don't start us off. Oh, Let's get it Let's oh, get man. our feet wet a little bit. Woo. So every time we okay. start an episode, we do something called an icebreaker. Uh-oh. But because we are just so grace to have you here we have two we got two two icebreakers yes so one is pretty much a question okay so we're just gonna test you to see you watch the podcast you. do you watch the good judies i do okay watch great the so you already yes. know you already know time. what time it is yes. <laughs> all right so the first icebreaker is what's your mount rushmore of preachers it's gonna be bishop g.e patterson oh! <laughs> Let's go. It's going to be uh, Nathan Simmons. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Like oh, yeah, I like, yeah. Um, you like see. an accountable church. I like see. that. Uh-huh. It's going to be <laughs> Bishop G. Patterson, Nathan Simmons, uh, Bishop Jakes. You got to have Bishop Oh, yeah. Jakes. You got to have Jakes yeah. it, on your mom's Yeah, I yeah, get Okay. It, all right, all right, all right. I can see it. Um, and then, um, let me see. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> uh, it might have to be for yeah. me it might have to be um Stephen Furtick what I know I know, I know I know I know I know I know okay now let's know, wait and it's not for the reason that y'all think so don't yeah. <laughs> before we get before we get into that yeah I like that though. It's diverse. Yeah. yeah. Full of accountability. Yeah. It's Stephen charismatic. Furtick preaches like a black man. <laughs> he does. He yeah. does. Well, yeah, I've never heard him preach, so I really couldn't say. She don't even know. Who he yeah, I don't really know who he is. I know he can gel his hair to the back. Yeah, he can. Uh, yeah, right. So. Yeah, yeah. so the second one is called "Finish the Church Phrase." Uh oh. So Whoa. we're gonna keep you. We're gonna, we're gonna throw you. We we don't know. We, we don't know. The test. Uh-oh. So Leah has the first one. I promise you, I got this. Watch this. Then so we are gonna see. All right, here we go. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Uh-huh. Huh? Let's go. <laughs> you ready? Tell you, we starting this thing off right. All right. Mm-hmm. I love all it. All right. Let the church say. Amen. All, all right. right. Pastor Kobe right. Mitchell say amen. Amen. <laughs> amen. <laughs> all right. First, give an honor to God. Who's ahead of my life? Uh-huh. Uh, okay. Come on. We, we, we you can extend it a little bit more. Saints and friends uh-huh. and all the ministers uh-huh. on the roster. Uh-huh. I just want to thank and praise God. In your respected position. <laughs> in your respected position. Yes, sir. I love that. I love you. Here's, may the Lord watch. Between me and thee. Uh-huh. While we're absent. From one what? From another. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is church. Let's this go. is me. This is church. You might Let's be saying go. a little bit. You might be a teach. <laughs> Is it my turn? Yeah. Oh, dang. When I think, when I think. Of the God you. Of the, of the goodness. Of the what? Of when the I think. goodness of Jesus. And what? And, and all. <laughs> my what? That he's done for me. My soul. <laughs> my out, my toes just went numb. I oh want to run. Jesus. Oh my God. You can't say that without quick. Oh, I swear. Thank God, Thank God for saving. Thank God for saving. I was a sinking. <laughs> you see me like this, but he. But, <laughs> playing the organ. I mean, Sink. playing the singing. <laughs> All right, we welcome you once. We welcome you twice. Uh-huh. We, welcome. we welcome you three times. And in, the in the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ. I mean it. Thank you. So Period. It's a ten no, out of ten. Yeah. 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 All right, Come now on. let's dig into the meat of this Uh-oh. thing. Uh-oh. And we love. Okay, that was about to be First terrible. First of all, tell us a little bit about you. We know, but tell our, our followers who may not we know. Were. Okay. I'm Thomas Cody. I am a musician and I'm a pastor. A minstrel? Um, I'm a minstrel. I love huh? that. <laughs> a minstrel. Um, I've been playing uh, since I was 10, so I'll say about 22 years. Um, and um, I lead a church. I've I started a church five months ago. I like that you said you time. lead it and yeah. not pastor. Why Come did on. you state it like that? Because I'm leading a movement. Oh. It's a movement, yeah. I like that a lot. Uh-huh. All right. Yep, so that's me. 
That's you. Where did you grow up? I grew up right in Atlanta, Georgia. Jesus. In the city of Decatur, where it's greater, y'all know. That's what they say. We, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jesus. I've never been to Decatur. Yeah, really? never. Mm -mm. Well, you are right. Are they saved <laughs> over there? I ain't going to say all that. Oh. They, they, that <laughs> they don't love the Lord. Well, well, have you always um, had ambitions to be a pastor? Or is it just something that eventually mm. grew? I think time? it just eventually grew on me. I thought that I was going to be a traveling musician, that mm -hmm. I was just going to travel the world and play everywhere. And somehow or another, God called me to preach, and I got stuck. Somehow he can another. preach it now. It ruined my life in the best way. It, ru it, it ruined, ruined it in my the life best way. See, the they don't way. talk about that. I love that. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love that. Yeah, it I ruined love my that. life in the best way. It, it, it can't put yeah, a wrench in your plan. Because I was supposed to be doing some other stuff. But, you know, Ooh. I, and we thank I, God that he snatched you down out of the hands of the enemy. Oh, yeah. Put the taste right out of your mouth, and I love that. This segment is basically to give a pastor um, a platform to give your perspective wow. because there is a lot of stigmas and stereotypes about your position in the church. Yeah. Um, so we just want to dive into some things. Questions are all over the place, but okay. this is your opportunity just to end some stigmas and just give your perspective on stuff. Okay. Again, right. this is an unorthodox podcast, so our perspective is a little bit different. We want to tackle an elephant in the room. So Absolutely. Yeah. It may be some elephants yeah. that we tackle. And this is a safe space for people to share. Yeah. Amen. All right. <laughs> so first and foremost, we want to talk about are you single? I am. Okay, so because oh the reason God. why I asked, <laughs> ladies, okay, ladies, calm down, women are girls. Pass this single. You want a first <laughs> look? No, 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 no. no. This, we want to explore the love life of a single pastor. What wow. that is, and if that even is a thing. So Leah has the first question. Okay. All right. So okay. the first question that we have is a toughie, Ooh, and it's been debated across several platforms. Okay. But now it's time for you to mm -hmm. set the straight. Okay. So is dating biblical? Um, I'll say this. So the Bible doesn't necessarily talk about the subject dating, mm -hmm. but I do believe that the Bible gives us some type of parameters or things to, um, look for when dating. Mm. So the Bible just never talks about dating, but then when you look at Roat, uh, <laughs> Roaz, Boaz, and Ruth. <laughs> but Boaz and Ruth, um, it talks about the fact that Boaz was interested in her and asked mm -hmm. questions about her before they came together. And so I what believe What you mean that when they came together? Before they got married. Before, My God. But even <laughs> their marriage, I know this is not the time for that, but I always no, say, sure. but even their marriage was a business deal. Mm. Absolutely. So people always running like, you know, I can't wait for my Boaz. I can't mm. wait. But Boaz only married her because it was a business deal. Oh, she has I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. I love that so, answer. So I believe that. So I believe that the Bible doesn't necessarily talk about dating, but the Bible talks about no man builds up a house without first counting up the cost. Mm. And so I believe that's that good. that's that, that's a part of dating. And then right. in 1 Corinthians 13, love is patient, love is kind. So it gives you things to look for when you are dating. So I don't see dating in the Bible, though. Right. Just, yeah, I think so. like, I on. sometimes Christians, they don't use context clues. They yeah. don't use wisdom. Yeah. And it's kind of like they want it obvious. Right. God, I mean, no, there's no, not, not any dating, dating in the Bible, but there's if scriptures you use, that yeah. can back up Absolutely. a healthy exactly. dating Relationship, lifestyle. Right. Yep. And that leads us to our first, I mean, our second question. How does a single pastor approach dating? <sighs> My God. My, My God, that's a loaded. I know it's layers to this, I baby. mean, that's like a loaded yeah. potato. Dang, the bacon, the chives. I knew y'all was going to hit me the with it. The chives, sour cream. Are you kidding me? <laughs> the cheese. I knew y'all was going to hit me with it. But Give I'll us a, say. A quick answer. Ex yeah, the, ex the first thing is wisdom. Huh. Wisdom. Wisdom. That's the first thing? Wisdom Love is the that. principal thing. That's the first thing. You I read Proverbs, this. don't you? Oh, most definitely. Like most definitely. You got to read Proverbs. But. Um, I think wisdom and having boundaries, like my boundary yeah. is I will not date a woman in my church. Oh, Here. baby. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 that. Yeah. Let me just tell y'all, some of y'all yeah. pastors need to take a I note. I mean, take man. a note out of Pastor Cody. This is my book. thing. How can, you, how can you preach to her? How? On Sunday morning. And then Sunday night, you're trying to console her and, and go on dates, <laughs> trying to sleep with her. You know, Ooh, it, you just can't. It, it, it. And then, how's she going to call you spiritual daddy? Oh, and she called daddy. 
You can't call you Zaddy and Daddy at the same time. You can't call you Zaddy. I mean, a man cannot live by bread alone. I mean, I love that. So that means y'all need to stop lusting after your spiritual daddy. Because a lot of y'all do. Y'all just want to drop the spiritual and just leave the daddy. In and out of season. Hey, daddy. I, I love that I love though it. because okay. I think yeah. it's a conflict yeah. of interest. Like it's sure. like in a business, yeah. you can't date the CEO and mm-hmm. think you' about to keep your job. Yeah, Things change, the dynamics change, and it kind of ruins your witness, like the familiarity. Yeah. You know, yeah. so if you absolutely. do have a, something to pour into my life and we're dating, and I go to your church. I can't really receive it because I can't yeah. separate you from your yeah. position. No matter how much she may say, she can separate <laughs> the difference. She can't. She can't. No, she can't because you're gonna be boyfriend or you boo or bae, and yeah, it's just. And not I'm not gonna want you yeah. laying out. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely not. So, right. yeah, that's just a boundary for me. I like right. that. I, I, I appreciate that. that. Yeah. I think that keeps it in, yeah, yeah, keeps it safe. Keeps, keeps keep it safe and safe. sound. And, and even if it's somebody that I do like, I'll let them know, hey, you can come visit, but you can't join. You can't, you can't join, join my church. church. Can't join my church. Can't I don't think, I don't know if you're going to be the first <laughs> lady or not. So, until absolutely. then, you keep going. Yeah. <laughs> you better lay low. <laughs> Y'all. I love it. I love it. You better lay low. All right. <laughs> so how do you balance business and ministry? To be honest, in this season, I don't know. I, I don't even That's have the balance honest. right now. And I don't true. even have the balance because I'm building a church. It's mm. different from like if somebody gave me a church. Mm-hmm. Right. Nobody give me nothing. Right. So so it's like every day, all day, my my mind is on momentum. Right. Seriously. It's like if it ain't music ministry, it's administration. If it's not yeah. that, it's outreach ministry. So mm-hmm. my mind is always there. So right now, I don't even know how to balance right now, just to tell you the truth. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. I really don't know, but I'm praying for it. Pray I've been for learning me as that, I grow strong no, we and got strong. This, yeah. I've been yeah. learning with balance. Sometimes balance means using wisdom on knowing what to be more intentional about. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. So yeah. when you have multiple things that desire or need a right. lot of your attention, right. sometimes it's like, okay, right now I can't prioritize yeah. right. this. Yeah. I need yeah. to focus on this, and then maybe that can... Yeah give me the money, right. the, the yeah. resources exactly. and things to pour into yeah. everything else. But right. as a pastor, I think it's easier to ba- maybe balance fatherhood, social, and musicianship. Mm-hmm. But yeah. when you become a pastor, yeah. building that first year is so yeah. crucial oh, yeah. to you, your, your spirit, man, right. your, men- your oh, mental, yeah. your your body, your yeah. people, your yeah. family. It's a huge adjustment. So and I think I'm that's, what, that's why. It. I'm yeah. all of it because currently right now, I'm playing at 9.30, I'm playing at 11.45, and then I'm pastoring at 5 o'clock. Mm, so my whole wow. Sunday is is straight it's up. It's loaded. Yeah. Can yeah. I ask you a question? Yeah. What is it with Atlanta and this afternoon church? And this is just a quick question. It's not subject. Oui. <laughs> because I everybody think, has church in the late afternoon in Atlanta. Yeah, they do, they do. I like it because that's like delivery. It. I miss <laughs> a 6 p.m. service. I, I can go to brunch. Yeah, we like give it. Give me a little mimosa and then roll up at the altar. Give it all back to Give it all back to, it all back to <laughs> yeah. I mean it. I think it's just the culture, though, because Atlanta is like a Bible belt. Gotcha. So, you know, just the culture um, of Sunday night church. So I started with Sunday night church. So my church is at five o'clock. So this is pastors out there. You can you can start a church with night service, but you can't sustain a church okay. with night service. Okay. Like that. Yeah, so that's Got my you. thing. So I'm already thinking about what's what? next. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is a loaded one too. What are maybe two we could do two. What okay. are two stereotypes of pastors that you want to denounce? <sighs> the first thing is that they're all about money. Mm. I love that. Yeah. Because I know firsthand now that it takes money to Man, do ministry. It takes money to do it. it we takes. need the tithes and offering, yeah. people. I promise you. Like, it takes money. Right now, I'm driving a Kia Optima right now. And but, I like that yeah. a lot. I had like to love it. <laughs> trade my Beamer in for a bike. <laughs> and actually. <laughs> I'm driving a Kia, and people, they think that when I sold, like, maybe the pastor's getting ready to go get a Mercedes, mm-hmm. getting ready to go. No, it's literally to take care of the roof over mm-hmm. this yeah. house. Wisdom. And so, yeah, that's that's the first thing, that the, um, that the pastor's all about money. And then the second stereotype that I wanted to mystify is that um, – all pastors are cheaters, or they plan Ooh, around. They but that's one life. you should you you probably want to denounce it. Yes. But are we going to denounce it? Doc, we denounce it. Yeah, <laughs> because 
all is a uh, is a very strong word. Yeah. And it's a maybe a high percentage, but it's not all. <laughs> it's not all. Yeah. It's and not all. I think yeah. that when we focus on the negative stuff that For we sure. don't really highlight the, the percentage that aren't, aren't that are yeah. really, yeah. you know, steadfast, that really love their wives yeah. and things yeah, like that. Absolutely. And while you said that before we go move on, yeah. I think a lot of the times Hold on, let me make sure this ain't a part of our other question. Okay. Yes, a lot of the times, a lot of the men and pastors get the slack for the inability of the women in the church right. to mm-hmm. be disciplined. Right, mm-hmm. in control, so, yeah. So um, to add to that question, do you think a lot of the times women, we mistake victims when it's really they're the villains sometimes? Jesus Christ, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And ladies, don't <laughs> yeah. attack us, but I think yeah, there's and, and a, a conversation just, of accountability. Yeah. Yeah. And we need to and separating the two. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's a group of men in church just like, I'm going to get her. I'm going to talk to her. Yeah. But then there's a group of females that's like that. Be too. blind. Absolutely. I don't have been in one. I don't <laughs> never forget. No, seriously, someone called me before and they said, hey, stay away from so and so because she literally called me and said, I'm going to sleep with him. So she was already I'm plotting and planning. Uh, it's the, it's the, <laughs> so she, she told somebody that she was Imagine. Get and you're not tell lying, because let me yeah. tell you something. I used you to go to a big to... church here that is no longer yeah. up. But yeah. I remember when he was, my my pat, my bishop and his wife, yeah. very prominent yeah. ministers. You know yeah. who I'm talking about. Yeah. When they divorced, mm-hmm. the women in the church would line up. No. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, bring in um, plates of food, <laughs> Man, you have envelopes with money. No. Yeah. All of them started saying, guys, in a dream, God showed them a ring. They his wife. So women in the church can be very calculated, and then when they don't get their results, because yeah. I'm cooking for you, so that I want you, I want to get some yeah. results. Yeah. And that's the thing: a lot of women try to manipulate themselves into a relationship, mm-hmm. you know, by yeah. doing by acts of kindness. Absolutely. <laughs> I haven't been pastoring in six months yet. So I've already gotten oh. peach cobbler that I did not eat. Ooh, was it good? Uh, oh, you don't, don't eat, eat it. No, no, don't no, eat that food. We don't eat it. No, you're not gonna eat it. It could be a peach. root. No, no, no. I, right, right, right. It can be a peach root. Peach cobbler. I've gotten um the um the lapel pins to go on your. You suit. got a lapel? You ain't wear it. No, I ain't wear it. Was it designer? It no, was because designer. that lapel no, could be a stronghold, it a soul tie. And then, you gotta be are careful. you kidding? Someone they yeah, see true. that the colors of my church is like orange and blue, mm-hmm. so they sent it anonymously in the mail, and they sent all of this like orange and blue like bracelets and and just like office stuff and yeah. I'm very so scared. What if it's fan mail? No, <laughs> you gotta be careful because sometimes that. that comes. Unexpected, unspoken expectation. Yeah, true. I don't oh, trust he, that's very he got true. my armband yeah, on. Yeah. He wearing so I, my. I get that. We I dating that. now. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, no, yeah, we're yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have crazy yeah. women sitting outside yeah. of the church. Some women get off on that. They really they do. do. They get off just the mere fact that you wearing something. Oh, that yeah. I gave. oh yeah, oh, for yeah. sure. No. You gotta be careful not yeah. to call yeah. out certain people names while you're preaching because yeah. then yeah. they're yeah. taking yeah. pictures. Yeah. yeah, talking to one lady too longer than the yeah. other one. Girl, child, I've seen it oh, all. Yeah. I've seen it all. Seen it all. all. Yeah. Yeah. Seen it all. So now we had a part, and we're not done. We're kicking it with our friend Pastor, Pastor Thomas, Thomas Cody of Momentum Church. We've come to a part of our podcast where everybody can participate. Uh, this is offering time. Hey Amen. It's offering time in the temple. If you want to sow into our ministry and our, to our podcast, the link is below. And this part of our show is actually sponsored by Pastor Thomas Cody and uh-huh. Momentum Church. Momentum. Shout out to Momentum. Shout we love you guys. We got to come to your you. church. Y'all got to come. Y'all got to come down. Y'all got to come down. Sunday at 5. Sunday at 5. We're going to be at it. We're going to be at it. Y'all be churching. We try to. What time y'all get out? We try to. About See, nine. I still try to get out. I try to get out about, about seven before seven. That ain't bad. You lie. You lie. <laughs> I said I try. I said I try. <laughs> y'all know y'all being I said I try, man. All right, this yeah. next question is, ooh, I don't know. A this doozy. is good, All right. by the way. Yeah, this thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Now, I'm asking you this because I remember having a, a, a conversation with my dad mm-hmm. and when him and my mother, the, oh, yeah, the, the apostle, the apostle. Um, when him and my mother divorced, and you guys will hear more about this testimony service a couple episodes from Away. Then, um, he basically <laughs> told me that he was not forced into another marriage, but yeah. there was an expectation for single pastors back then. Yeah. There was no, there was non-existent. You, you could not yeah. pastor and be single, right. especially yeah. in a traditional Pentecostal church right. that we grew yeah. up in. So I want to ask you, um, how do you handle, if any, if there's any pressure 
um, from the higher ups or your your spiritual covering, yeah. you, your family, yeah. to get married? It's definitely pressure. I had a mother just uh, two weeks ago. She said, now, you know, I want to come to your church now, but I'm going to need you to go to get married. You sound, she sounds like my grandma. My grandmother will <laughs> yeah, not sit yeah, under no yeah, single yeah, pastor. Yeah, she said, I really? want to come. Why no. do you think that is? Why do you think that people are... Uh, um, Skeptical. I guess their lack of Skeptical. trust, yeah. self yeah, discipline, that, and I think that they're used to a certain model. Yeah, of church, yeah, that you're always absolutely. The preacher and the preacher and the wife. wife. Yeah. Um, and the kids yeah. that the members can't stand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <I'm> so, <laughs> yeah so, I, um, so I believe that. But um, for me, I desire to get married. Really? Because I know I can't do this Soon? by myself. That gift then looks good, good on you. <laughs> you wear it. Good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wear that thing. All right. Y'all better stop yeah. cooking. Yeah. Listen. Stop all that. Y'all better cook. start going in that prayer Cause room. Because it ain't you. Because you Go ain't on. that peach cobbler ain't going to be. Awareness, yeah. right? You have to know your man of God. You have to be in consistent prayer on how to handle what seasons he is in. Right exactly. now, he's building. Right. So if you want everything to be about you, this may not yeah, be the man of absolutely. God for you. Man, if you no. can't be supportive, if right. you can't be patient, it exactly. may not be day yeah. night this exactly. week. We may At have all. to go to the church and clean. And clean. So if you That's can't the serve. Right there. Yeah, That's yeah. The if you can't yeah. serve, if you exactly. don't know how to plow, if you don't know how to, you know, get in there, get your hands dirty, exactly. you just want to be a trophy and wear your hats and stuff. This man, this not man me. you just want to pay a red bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because no, he's, he's building, so he's yeah. yeah. glamour. Yeah. I, I yeah. mean, yeah. get you some yeah. Nike, some, some loafers, some, Nike. Yeah. some Air Force One. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> All right, the next question that we have for you, which okay. I think we covered this a little bit, but I'll ask you again: okay. Are women in the church sometimes the chaser? Most definitely. Absolutely. Because I've chased a little bit. Most definitely. I have to admit. Yeah. <laughs> I think though um, that sometimes it's not even necessarily to do is the power that he carries. Okay. The anointing. Can, preachers and musicians. And we really talked about, that's how this podcast really came about yeah. in this forum because we yeah. were talking about different types of fun and like anointing fun and I realized that yeah. I don't even really like church dudes. Yeah. And that's what Shanice told me that before yeah. I don't like men in church, I just really like the position that they, yeah, and the I really like the talent and like the creativeness yeah. Yeah. and you know how they can control and command a room. You yeah. know, a lot of the time yeah. it's that. Yeah. And probably it's crazy, that's probably crazy, but I feel like there are other women like me who you are attracted to that most definitely there's a saying that um that uh i think women say that they love to see a man in uniform mm, and not just that collar that yeah, collar, that collar. Oh my god it's them that, robes yeah. for me when y'all get the kicking in and Shanice like that silk <laughs> <laughs> i like an old school bishop if you will you like a christ on, 300 i mean i need to pull up in a lincoln <laughs> Oh, yeah, the Lincoln. I, and and the Lincoln. Right. Oh, yeah, I need, I need, I need, I need a pastor that got a Lincoln. wear a chest yeah. coat. Oh, yeah. But price oh, of 300 yeah. at least if you don't got yeah, a Lincoln. Yeah, yeah. You don't got that. <laughs> now, this oh, one is Cadillac. a doozy. Who is your ideal first lady? Like, if you could, you know the store Build-A-Bear? Ooh, If you go into a store and you could build a first lady, you can even give us examples. Of, okay, I want her to have features of Toya Wright. Um, I want her to now, preach. Why would you like, say that? I mean, little birdie that? told me that's your no, celebrity you crush. That. that is my celebrity <laughs> you crush. On, thank you, Holy Ghost. Man, is, <laughs> Toya Wright is it. It's all right. You want her to come? You, <laughs> she can momentum, really are y'all ready to be? <laughs> we ready. We y'all ready for right Regina to lead praise and worship? <laughs> <laughs> we ready right now. Man, I promise you, the day she got engaged, I was crushed. Oh, she married. Oh, my God. She's getting ready yeah. to get married. Oh, I was crushed, but yeah. Hey. So she would be the ideal. So you want me to piece together? I mean, what about her is ideal? Like, yeah, give us personality yeah, traits. She, see, the first thing, the first thing men look at is the physical. Mm. So she's beautiful. You want a brick house? You want to come in the house of the Lord? You want a thirty six? Absolutely, absolutely. 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 That's what I want. Twenty five, forty five, forty six. You better go ahead. You so better listen. go ahead. If your body ain't, <laughs> listen. If your temple ain't, if you stack, I mean, get, he want a stallion, if you like. will. Absolutely, mm-hmm. they gotta go after what they like. Mm-hmm. Now, what personality traits? Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. like to laugh. I do. You like a good I chuckle. Like okay, I do. I like to laugh. I like comedy shows. I like. Do you like to cackle? Like, do you like to cackle? Because we cackle. You like, like cackle, do you man. preach all the time at the house? Like, what's the day in the life of, of Co- Pastor Cody? Like, if y'all at home chilling, do you cuss no, a little bit? Like, I do you do <laughs> I just y'all, get, y'all. Like what? What? Do you be playing two K? Do you do I, sit around the house with your clergy collar? I do not. I do you do wear not. basketball shirts? No, nope. I'm just a regular dude. I'm a regular dude, regular. You father. give me. A, you, you talk like a pastor. A pastor. On that's, that's what people say, though. You do. They say, you they have that aura. 
That or yeah, it's, it's yeah, the Holy old, Ghost. That's uh, probably what old it is. Spirit, spirit, if you will. So you know what? Thank I hate you that so you don't play 2K. I don't. You don't. You don't play video games at all. You got a PS5. I don't. I be seeing videos no. of your beautiful kids, your yeah. daughters. Um, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, yeah. beautiful. This cute you know, like, girl. <laughs> but he, his daughter Madison, she does TikToks and stuff and oh, like yeah. little videos. Oh. He's always you know, love shouting that. and doing extra. <laughs> doing stuff. I'll jump in and shout. Doing yeah. church yeah. stuff. I'll so do y'all shout around the house? Do oh, we shout all the time. The time. I mean, oh. I don't wish and Gracie, Gracie's a prayer warrior. Yeah, yeah, that's Mother Stacks. Y'all, she be in the scene. She be Mother Stacks. And baby, they will, they will, go, they will, you see, they'll get on, on the here. altar and kick in all night. If you don't, oh, yeah. they, oh, they're praise I need starters. to see this. I need we to see this. Church. Yeah, yeah. You could tell that, yeah. you know, you've implemented yeah. a foundation yeah. of prayer, mm -hmm. um, Prophecy. Mm. Come on, prophecy. Yeah. There's a foundation. Yeah. And, kids are and just godliness. And, I yeah, love that. And amazing. 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 Father. Let's come in. And, and, and one thing about it that I love about him, that you see this trend sometimes that a lot of pastors are better spiritual fathers than natural. Right. Yeah. And they, they yeah. can fit that role better. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of them don't even communicate with their kids. Children, yeah. right? Absolutely. Um, but it's, it's very Absolutely. refreshing to see yeah. that you actually get your daughters. You're actually it. with them doing hair. You bring them to church. Bring them to I church. love that. Amazing. We have I, to give we it gotta up clap for that. that. Shout out to all the fathers out there. Yeah, yeah. shout out to the fathers. Spiritual yeah. and natural Ooh. and all the Absolutely. zaddies. Shout All right. So I got this. The last question is, We've been seeing a little trend. My mom got caught up in the trend as well. Mm -hmm. um, what's your take on pastors dating women outside of the church? And a lot of the time, a lot of women in church, there's been a lot of talk yeah. that mm -hmm. pastors don't really like women in church anymore. For example, Israel Hall ends with um, Adrian. Adrian. Okay. Right. Pastor yeah. Kenyon just dated the beautiful, I mean, just married the beautiful Shawnee O'Neill. So yeah. um, it's the structure of a first lady is that becoming extinct as far as the traditional um i think so but i think even the people that you named that they were married before mm. and so they realize what they don't want um, right i remember there's a bishop that i know that that you all know as well that is heavy on relationships mm. right and he was married um to a preacher and his thing now is he don't want a wife that preaches, that's in church. He just wants a wife. Can I ask you a question, like a quick question? Yeah. Do you find it to, do you, does it come off a little masculine to you when, mm -hmm. uh, like, a woman who, you what? know, preaches? <laughs> it tries to come on to you or something? No, like, I'm, I'm saying, like, oh. a, a, pre, a woman that is a preacher. Since oh. you said he said he didn't want to date. No, I just, um, I believe that you can preach, but preach with some grace. Now, don't be trying to <laughs> <laughs> like don't me. Try to, don't do be DMX in a pulpit. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't do that. Now, don't be, be cuffing the mic and all that. Be soft. Yeah, Grab it as you're growing. Come on. And you can hoop and you can hoop and still and be still feminine. Be grateful. Still be feminine, exactly. But I'm now, I ain't even going to open up that but Yeah, yeah that can of worms. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I love how you said that. Yeah. He said he wanted a wife because I think some a lot of marriages that we see that are no longer there. A lot of them yeah. tried to do marriage and ministry. Yeah. Right. And their ministry ended up taking over their marriage and they realized yeah. they don't have yeah. a marriage anymore yeah. because yeah. Yeah, the ministry. And I yeah. think too, I think that should be a wake up call and a clarion call to the women in church. Mm, that right. He ain't just looking for no first lady no more. Yeah. I'm, no, I'm not looking for a first lady. No. I'm looking for a wife that can handle business. Come That's on. what we said. Don't yeah. make me a first lady yeah. at nobody's church. <laughs> I'm going to be at brunch. Listen. Call me Listen. when you're done. <laughs> Talk about woman that are loose. Are you kidding me? I'm loose. I'm loose. We loose. 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 <laughs> we loose all right. Yeah. But I think knowing your purpose, too, I think a yeah. lot of women that date pastors or want to date pastors, yeah. they assume they have to be this certain type of way. Yeah. And then they try to force this call on them that they Absolutely. don't have the grace yeah. to carry. Yeah. You can't and don't pray. Even want. You Absolutely. don't even know how to pray. So you why are you trying to, to do you these prayer really breakfasts? Yeah. So are you kidding me? <laughs> these why prayer breakfasts is crazy. crazy. Prayer breakfast. <laughs> my, but you notice, you could tell the women that are wanting to be groomed to be first ladies right. because they either have a women's Empowerment. Uh, empowerment. Yeah, yeah. They oh, had. Yeah. They start to wear certain. They start to wear certain. Clothes. They want all of a sudden. Yeah. They want a fedora. They got quotes. <laughs> they got flyers with quotes on it. It's they like, got videos with words. Yeah. They're trying too hard. They're trying too hard. Just be a regular yeah. woman. Man. Cause Bro. guess what? They want Toya Wright. How about that? You want Toya Wright? How about that? They want Shekinah Joe. Are you kidding right me? <laughs> tell you right now. They trying. Right. This has been so Lovely. amazing. Wonderful. Pastor Thomas I enjoyed Cody. No, yes, we enjoyed you. Happy y'all. Happy. 
for y'all. Thank all you. Yes. We love you. Yeah. This was our episode with New Thomas kids. Cody. It's called The Pastor, Pastor study. study. If you loved it, like, share, and subscribe. comment. Subscribe to our channel. Follow Momentum Church and take your butt to church to if you're in Atlanta. How the can church. they find you? Give How us can some they find, find us on Facebook, Instagram at Momentum Woo. City Church. You can find me at Thomas L. Cody on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. What's the L stand for? I ain't even gonna tell you. All right. Levi. 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 <laughs> Levi. Let's go. Yes, sir. <laughs> this episode was brought to you by VAR, sponsored by Pastor Thomas Cody and Momentum Church.